to remember the whole urea cycle in under five minutes if not then be prepared because in this video you are going to get that thing so to remember urea cycle in five minutes you just need to know two things which are really disgusting both of them so start with the one where a lot of person is actually urinating in public which is very common in india probably seen that not bad not good very very bad now the second thing a baby crying loudly seeing all this nonsensical stuff going on out there so remember these two things and you'll be prepared to know the urea cycle in under five minutes how stay tuned so the first things that we need to know is the intermediates of the urea cycle so intermediates of urea cycle to remember that you need to know one particular sentence like every single time ordinary careless crappers are also furious about public urination well mouthful of word right ordinary careless crappers are also furious about public urination and you can see the red colored letters are the one which are the part of the intermediate of urea cycle so how it all begin it begins with or at the very first point so change the color or means ornithine okay the second one car carbamoyl phosphate then the third one c citrulline then the fourth one begins with a aspartate the fifth one with also a arginosuccinate then the one with fu fumarate and then the one is with a arginine and the last one with urea because it's with urine obviously it's urea so if you look at this is not good and we know that but to remember this if you tally all these details with the actual urea cycle this is what you get from the beginning remember ornithine start with the ornithine there and then continue with so this is the beginning ornithine then carbamyl phosphate then citrulline then the fourth one arginosuccinate then arginine and then again continue with ornithine aspartate is definitely present somewhere in the middle with arginosuccinate so these are the different steps so now let's look at the enzymes used to understand the enzyme used in urea cycle you need to know only one simple thing that's a baby crying out light loudly wow that's the sound of a baby crying right so if you remember that sound it is o a a a a and it, it, it's disgusting it continue to happen like that so simply need to know o a a a a and start with the c so it begins with this idea c for carbamyl phosphate synthase then O for ornithine transcarbamylase. Then the A is for arginosuccinate synthase. Then another A for arginosuccinase or ar arginosuccinate lyase. And the last A for argininase. So again, if you look at here in the actual urea cycle diagram, you start with this carbamyl phosphate synthase in the very beginning to produce carbamyl phosphate. Then ornithine transcarbamylase. Ornithine transcarbamylase converts ornithine and then convert it into citrulline. And the third one, arginosuccinate synthase converts citrulline into arginosuccinate by adding aspartate to it. And then arginosuccinase or arginosuccinate lyase, the same enzymes convert arginosuccinate into arginine. And the last one, argininase or arginase is the enzyme converting arginine and into ornithine. And so that the cycle keeps continuing all the time so you know the whole matter of urea cycle is converting ammonia which is highly toxic for our body into a less toxic form which is urea so that it can be removed from our body via the excretory system so now you know the urea cycle under five minutes keep this video repeatedly watched for a few minutes and you will be getting all these points and believe me you will not forget this in your life remember just public urination and a baby crying so if you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel to get more and more self-help education videos like that.